Good day everyone, we're going to replace this uh, top radiator hose on my Dodge Dakota here. So this is a 2003, um, I can only really speak to this, this is a second generation, it's a 4.7 liter engine, so I would imagine the hoses are all the same. It uh, says it's a Deco, and I guess that would be the number, so we'll give that a go. And the weird thing, I believe this is the OEM one, and it doesn't have clamps, it looks like there's some sort of prefabbed weird clamp on here. I'm not sure what that's all about, but that's where it's leaking around those seams. So I couldn't just buy pieces of hose and put new clamps on. So, um, you want to make sure you can, there's going to be some leakage here uh, out of the hoses. When we take this off, I'll just show you because my fluid's right up. It's right there, I can see the fluid. So we'll get a little bit of a leak. So you might want to capture that down below, maybe be somewhere where you're not going to make a mess. So you can buy fancy tools to take these clamps off. It clamps them together really nice and stuff, but I don't do this very often, so I'm not buying one of those. I'm just gonna use a pair of these. And you might need a little assortment of uh, some screwdrivers to help you do some prying, I'll show you. Need a little bit of soap, because when we go to put this pipe on, we're gonna lube it up a bit so it slides on easier. Antifreeze. So you can buy pre-mixed 50-50 stuff, or you can get the full strength, and then you have to mix it down to a 50-50 mixture. But if you're looking for something that's compatible with whatever you have, apparently this stuff, uh, it's by Prestone, it says, it says right on there, it says it's compatible with any color, antifreeze, suitable for use in any car or truck. But it has an asterisk. But anyways, so let's get this thing off. You wanna keep these clamps, because we're gonna reuse them. And say for example, you did take off a hose that you just need to take off and put back on. Always put the clamp on, it might sound silly, but you have to put it on exactly where it was when you took it off, in the same position. Otherwise it'll probably leak. But anyways, to get these off, first, get this on here. And they're pretty hard to compress, but just get it going, get this squeezed together. Try to slide it up. That's why they make fancy things for these because it can be a little bit of a hassle. There we go. Okay, so as I say, you can buy a fancy tool for that. And you can also buy these, um, it's like a screwdriver, but it has a hook on the end. So you can kind of hook it and pull back. Now I don't have one of those, but Often these are on here and you have to stick something in there and pry them loose. Um, if that doesn't work, you could just take a, a really sharp like exacto blade type knife and you could just cut the pipe and take it off. But I'm gonna jam my screwdriver under here. And so that's, it's loose, like it's gonna come off. Watch that, could try. There we go. <laughs> Made a little bit of a messy mess, but that's okay. And then do the same over here. This one, again, this is a weird hose. It has this additional wrap thing here. And if you can't get the clamp to pull up over it, just compress it. And this is what you might need your big screwdriver for. Just pull this back. I have to take this little hose off here. Right there. And voila. Now we need these clamps. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. Um, I don't know, like, I suppose a person, I'd have to try it though. You'd probably cut these plastic things off and put real clamps on. And it might have been usable again, but as I said, this is the original one, so what the heck. I just replace it. They're kind of pricey though. It's the silly part. Get these clamps off though. If you're working around your battery, make sure you don't, uh, make sure your positive's covered with plastic. You don't want to touch that and touch your frame or else, you know, there'll be some 
unwanted excitement, let's just say that. There. Just trying to see how far that's supposed to go on. All right, well, I guess it goes on. This one to make sure my clamp is out of the way so I can push on there. Get this other clamp on. Okay, that should give me, as long as I can get on to this clamp. Okay, so we're kind of set up, I think. Okay, uh, I'm gonna spray this with a little bit of soap. Oh, and I, while I'm doing this, you know, <laughs> the most important thing is make sure your engine's cold and there's, otherwise there's going to be pressure in here. And you don't want to be fooling around with hot steam and pressure and stuff. Spray in the face and blind it or something. Okay, I'm going to try to get... This gonna go over. Right. Try to get this bottom one on here, or the lower one. I got pushed her on. She's all pushed on. Look at this. Just have to wrestle with this one now. Well, they say if it if if it came off, it should be able to go back on. But yeah, guess it depends if I how much power you have today. Okay, there we go. here that doesn't want to go on. There. I just jammed that in and rotated it around. I think I got it. So a little fancy tool might be handy. Where do you stick it on? There we go. All right, she's right down now. Okay. That is where you will probably live. There we go. All right, just got some good old pliers. They fit in here. Nice. So I'm just sliding it up. All right, that looks good. Okay, put this little hose back on. 
that's just like an overflow fills up this uh, if needed this your uh, reservoir here um, let's get this cap off so um, what I'm gonna do I know that the engines not like really really low on coolant so I'm gonna start her up and even if your engine was pretty low as you can start it as long as you start pouring in start topping it off uh, right away you'll be fine and you should only use distilled water if you're doing mixing get a jug of distilled water you can get like a gallon or four liters for like a buck so it's not gonna break the bank you don't want to use you know city water or especially well water is not good um, so let's start the truck and uh, we'll top this up and let her warm up and you'll be able to see it circulate warmed up as I said we lost almost no fluid so it's probably full it's good I know there's not full of air so I'm just gonna put the cap on and then uh, I'm gonna take her for a spin and get it heated up really good let it dry out under here and see if there's uh, any leaks You know the cap's on properly because it should line up this and this should point that way. If it's like this, you might think it's on because you can't turn it anymore. But you have to push down and then finish it off. So it's in line closed. So. Alright, just back from my drive. It's it's all hot. Um, it's systems pressurized. Uh, no obvious leaks. You'd be able to smell it. There'd be a little bit of steam or look on the ground. So do all those things. Um, yeah, looks like uh, another little successful repair. Okay, have a great day. Thanks. Give me a thumbs up. Bye.